Yeah, 2015 is not new hardware. Uh, there's an amazing number of people. I mean, the, the sheer number of comments. Look, I get getting value out of your hardware. I, I, I don't think people should upgrade every other year. I do think upgrade cycles are too frequent. But I still get a ton of comments from people who are like, I'm running an i7 4790K uh, or, or i7-2600K and it's just fine and I don't have... In fact, <laughs> you know what's hilarious about that? Hang on, I gotta find this. You get, a, you get another one? You know what, this... It says it's the latest BIOS. Uh, Some stuff, TPM right? and Secure Boot, because yep. it, it is supported. Yep. Comments. Okay. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. Guy made a comment saying he had an i7-4790K and a GTX 1080 Ti, and he's playing all the new games at 60 to 100 frames per second without a problem. Was it over on Bite Size Tech? Yeah, I think it was on Bite Size. I do remember seeing something like that. Because um, I think it was under the Please Balance Your uh, GPU. Super newest. Oh, here it is. I pay attention. Okay, here we go. I disagree, even in 2023. Currently playing AAA titles like... Uh, the Call of Duty, Starfield, Red Redemption 2, between 60 to 120 FPS, medium to high settings on an i7 4790K and a GTX 1080 Ti. And this is the best graphics card upgrade for an older i7 CPU. That's an old, that's an older video. If, if you think an i7 4790K and a 1080 Ti is all anybody needs for Starfield, and uh, first of all, why are you watching tech videos? Your attitude seems to be, I bought computer, I never upgrade computer, computer lasts forever. It's fine, I mean, you know, if that's all you can afford or that's what you've got, use it, but... This is coming from somebody who tested 35 games at 1440p on an i7-4790K with a 2080 Ti, which is really overpowered for it, yeah. it was CPU bottlenecked most of the time, but... It is remarkably functional if you're willing to accept a lot of little imperfections. Slower game launch and load times, 1% low hitches, a little bit of micro stutter. Um, it's a degraded experience, but it works. It plays. But don't turn around and say, oh, it's fine. There's no reason to get any better. What? This is absolutely fine. Everything's great. Uh, no, it isn't. Take it from somebody who's driven all the cars. <laughs> the difference in experience. How many comments have we gotten from people who made an upgrade and they're like, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You yeah. don't know until you've tried it. Mm -hmm. And this is a great example of somebody who either they've never used any better and simply do not know what they're missing. They've never heard of what a micro stutter is. Or... They think they're getting 60 to 120 frames per second, but they're not. Um, the, here's the funny thing. You can legitimately launch and play. Even Cyberpunk will play on a 4790K. Please turn the details down. Yeah, honestly. 14, 1080p? No, 1440p, high detail, Cyberpunk. You getting 30? No, it's over 60 frames a second. On the average. Oh, yeah. 1% lows will be. You know, <sighs> here's the thing with benchmarks. Benchmarks test specific <laughs> conditions and numbers. What? Uh, Pollute. Ain't no way that guy's hitting 60 FPS with that computer. <laughs> Hey, Kenneth, we'll get to your question here. Thank you. <laughs> Benchmarks are a way to test and compare different configurations and to give you something to work with to get an idea of what the experience is like. 
There's more to using a computer than an average FPS count. There's more to playing a game than even the 1% lows. Yes. 1% lows don't measure input lag. Nope. When you press the key on the keyboard to when your character on the screen starts moving is not something that a benchmark tests. Uh -uh. The user experience? <gasps> the difference between an i5-13600K and an i7-4790K in Cyberpunk is not the average frame rate. Nope. It is the butteriness of the game. <laughs> it is the smoothness with which you hit keys and everything responds. It's... There's no delay in switching weapons. It's pulling yep. up the map and inventory. It's just a certain snappish that does not show up in a frame rate chart. And so when somebody makes this comment, I just look at them and go, well, you disagree. Well, good for you. Yeah. I don't care that you disagree because you don't know any better. No. Oh, Blade Game is back. Cool, all right. And it, it may not be his fault per se if he's never used something newer that he doesn't no, know he won't know what's and you put it you put something new in his hands and be like what the hell was but i, I want for? everyone on an older computer listening to me right yeah. now to just take a deep breath and go, if you've got a 4790k and that's all you can afford maybe you live in brazil and or you lost your job or you had some medical bills that's fine i don't look down on you because you have an older computer you are just as much a member of the PC master race as the rest of us. Your value to the gaming community is not lessened because your computer hardware is different than somebody else's. It's true. However, don't confuse will run with will run really well. And when somebody who has used every CPU with a couple of minor exceptions, released for the past 15 years, yeah, tells you that there is a difference. <laughs> Waiting five seconds for Chrome to open is not okay. <laughs> <laughs> friends don't let friends wait for Chrome to open. When somebody who has driven all the cars tells you that it's the car, oh, maybe, sure? just <laughs> maybe. I got a few more super chats. I know, we'll get to them. So I understand this, but it's 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 mind-boggling and head scratching. At if the he same had time. left this comment off and simply said currently this, okay, fine, that's what he's doing. But to dis don't disagree with me because I know what I'm talking about and you don't. Yeah. And I know it sounds arrogant to say that, but I think I'm just gonna start saying it because I you know what? I'm gonna blame Daddy Doug for this. <laughs> <laughs> I've used all the computers. That's like buying a pair of shoes that are like half a size too small and then wondering why your feet are sore. Or somebody who's never tried different shoes. Yeah. If you've been, of course, here's the thing. I've been buying the same New Balance sneakers for 20 years. But I don't go around telling everybody they're the best sneaker ever. No, just... I haven't tried enough different sneakers to know. They're, it's, just, they're the ones you like. They fit. You can buy them every time. They're the same. I don't want to change my life. I'm actually running into that problem right now. I had these pair of sneakers that I really liked, but they don't make them anymore. And I have tried several other brands. And they're either too small or too big because the newer version of the shoe I don't like. So I'm kind of like, huh. So, Yeah. Well, and in fairness, when it comes to shoes, everybody's feet's different. Yeah. So you could say you like brand X, and somebody else says they like brand Y, and you could both be correct. Well, at the moment, I got a pair of Rikers, which are fine, but I don't particularly like the color. So I was trying to find a different pair, but I'm having a hell they of a time. They all look good on you, honey. Oh, thank you, darling. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, 
paste the key provided by URCD keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well.